Thank you, Colin Connor. Tisha, for leaders' question today, I'm raising issues that I need answers on. Why the disconnect between what is printed in the 150 commitments on the government published rural development policy, our rural future, on the 29th of March, and what is happening on the ground? The Rural Development Policy 2021 to 2025 states that it is 100% focused on supporting people and enterprise so that they can remain in rural Ireland. The main ambition of the policy was to have more people working in rural Ireland. My understanding of this is that we will allow people work from their own local communities so as to revitalise our town centres reduce uh, commuting times, lower transport emissions, and most importantly, improve the quality of life for our people. How is this going to happen? There is no development in the towns and villages to support this. A developer can, can sorry, excuse me, there's other people talking if you wouldn't mind. There is no development in towns and villages to support this. A developer cannot commence building when there is no basic infrastructure in place. I can now reveal that each town and village in Ireland is to be capped so they cannot develop in the 2040 plan. What is the purpose of bringing development to, this, to a standstill? Is this just a, a token gesture of updating existing services in some towns and villages? It does not increase capacity on our water and storage infrastructure. Heather Humphreys said about rural Ireland, and I quote, for decades we have seen our young people leave their local communities to live and work in larger cities. As we emerge from COVID-19, we will never have a better opportunity to reverse this long-standing trend." End of quote. An ambition of this policy is to ensure that people living in rural areas have access to good quality public services that enable them to continue to live, sustain in rural communities. This will help them to maintain a good quality of life. I know that investing in improvements in public transport services, health care within communities, housing provision, early learning and childing facilities, and community safety is all a means to an end, written in the government's manifesto, but only achievable if sustainable, if basic infrastructure is done. I heard you rattle off numbers, there's X amount of houses being built here, there's X amount of houses being built there. Stand up now and tell me how many houses are being built in the small towns and villages and the rural areas in Limerick and around Ireland. And see, have you got those statistics? Because you've capped them on the 2040 plan, and if you come out with the truth, you will tell the people of Ireland that the 2040 plan is limiting the amount of houses being built in towns and villages in Thank rural you, areas be up. because ye failed in infrastructure. Thank you very much. Thishuk, please. Well, two things. I thank the Deputy for raising the issue, uh, just to cut uh, straight to the point. There actually is strong delivery of new homes in, in rural areas over recent years, um, with around 26,000 rural houses, house planning permissions were granted in the last five years. Uh, in the same period, nearly 93% of that number of rural homes um, were actually built. Uh, and there is ongoing work. The Minister of Housing is currently updating the rural housing planning guidelines that will continue to allow for the development of homes in rural areas, while also highlighting the need to manage certain areas around cities and towns in order to avoid overdevelopment of those areas. Now, as you know, in the programme for government and in the, uh, the, the rural development policy uh, launch that was launched, the whole idea of developing town centres uh, is a critical part of that, and funding will be provided to facilitate the reconstruction of rundown uh, units or buildings, to refurbish them, to re renovate them for residential purposes. Uh, and through uh, the, the new rural uh, regeneration policy, uh, that will be part um, of that uh, as well. The URDF funding, um, uh, well over a billion more announced in, in, in recent times uh, by, by, by Minister O'Brien, uh, will dramatically increase infrastructure in towns across the country. Um, massive amounts of money allocated now to get vital water infrastructure done, uh, to get vital enabling works done, to facilitate development uh, of enterprise, of industry and of housing uh, right across the length and breadth of the country. Critically ensuring big investment in the regional cities to create uh, a counterpole 
to the development of Dublin in the east so that we have a more balanced development of the country into the future. And I don't think we have seen as large an investment programme across the regions as we've seen announced by Minister O'Brien in recent times through the URDF um, funding. Uh, it's quite transformative and it will be uh, transformative in terms of its impact on the cities and on the towns uh, across the various regions from northwest to west uh, to the south uh, and, and, and the Midlands. Uh, and that is uh, the, the continued objective um, of government in respect of both the URDF funding and other funding. I mean, last weekend, uh, the Minister for Agriculture, Charlie McConnell Logue, uh, announced 38 million uh, for 79 projects uh, from Castle uh, Town Bear uh, right across the length and breadth of coastal communities, right up to Donegal um, uh, and in, in, out to, Bal, out to Balbriggan. Uh, very significant uh, investments. Uh, in, in harbours and in estuaries, which will underpin uh, economic activity um, in, in, in those um, areas. And then when you look at the Greenways investments, Deputy, it's unprecedented now what this government is doing in terms of transforming active transport across Thank the length of rural Ireland Time in terms of Greenways, walk, walking routes uh, and, and public transport. More Thank generally. you very much, Deputy O'Donoghue. I'll just bring you across Limerick where I represent. Eskeaton, 33 years waiting for a sewerage system. Drumcolour, 10 years. Uh, Glen waiting over 20 years. Hospital waiting over 10 years. Oola waiting over 10 years for infrastructure. And there's 27% of the infrastructure left in County Limerick. And that's the only place where the investment is going. It's not going into the other areas that we're talking about. Your 2040 plan is completely going to close down areas where you could not provide houses for people. They're building their own and putting in the up-to-date storage systems, and now you're trying to stop that as well. I'm going to finish with this. Next week in my parish of Grana, in County Limerick, we are commemorating Lieutenant Mick O'Shea and the Grana volunteers of 1921 that died on the for the freedom of Ireland. I challenge you here today that they did not die in vain. We have been, we have been given our freedom to live where we want, and you're not going to take that, or any other government is not going to take that away from the people of County Limerick. Thank you, Deputy. Taoiseach. Um, first of all, I commend you for, for organising the commemoration. Uh, I think the, uh, the people of West Limerick uh, more than did their bit in terms of uh, helping uh, the struggle for Irish independence. Um, my late grandfather um, was close from the Mitchestown area with, with, with those in, 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 in West Limerick in, in a number of uh, um, endeavours. Uh, and I wish you well in that regard. And they didn't die in vain. Uh, because we have a country overall, uh, globally, that is, that is a good country to live in, a good country to work in, a good country uh, uh, to have you know, a, a reasonable quality of life. And part of the government's programme for government is actually uh, to provide good metrics, uh, well-being metrics, to ensure that we judge ourselves not just by GDP growth, but rather we judge ourselves uh, by uh, those qualities uh, that make the difference in terms of human development uh, and in terms of facilitating the growth and development of children uh, in a reasonable uh, and, and high quality way. That's the objective of government um, during this term of government. 